So how can organizations do this? How can an organization practice um, as a whole this type of plugged in management? And is there an example of someone, perhaps Intuit or another company that does it really well? Well, I'm going to claim that Intuit does it very well, and then the one I'm most interested in following right now is Zappos. Ah, and, ah. you know, Zappos is getting a huge amount of press around holacracy. There are a lot of naysayers, and I, I guess I should define holacracy. So what they've done is they've said, we're going to let go of job titles. They had already let go, you know, so we're talking about lead by letting go a lot here. Um, they had already let go of the idea of performance management, you know, in an annual form. Um, they had let go of job announcements for hiring. Huh. So here huh. they are, they're just letting go of a lot of these different practices. And then they say, well, we're going to get rid of job titles and we're going to practice, you know, these circles. And I am not a holacracy expert, but I can say that they're not the first to go in this direction. And that's something I think that's kind of getting missed a little bit is, you know, W.L. Gore since the 60s has been managed without really formal job roles. I don't even know if you want to call it managed. They manage themselves without formal job roles and they've done it very effectively. New Core Steel from the 70s only had four and now I think they have five levels in their organization. They're very team focused. Um, and then I, most recently they were talking about, well, how, how do people get paid at Zappos if they don't have a job title? And they're talking about badges and it sounds very modern and you know, social media-like. On the other hand, competency-based pay has been around at least since the 70s. Mm -hmm. It's just these ideas are getting kind of some, some new terms wrapped around them. And it may be that those ideas that didn't get huge pickup in the 60s or the 70s, maybe because they didn't have to, companies didn't have to move as quickly then, um, all of a sudden the pressures on the 21st century organization say you do have to be more agile and so these ideas really are just now getting reinvigorated and they may be something really great. The cool thing is Zappos shares, right? I do talk about Zappos in the plugged in manager because they were you know, a stop, look, listen, a mixing and a sharing company, and there's some great examples. But even with this new shift, they're continuing to share with the rest of us, you know, benefits and burdens, right? I think 14% of their uh, employee base quit when given the opportunity to take a package rather than go along with this. People said, oh my goodness, 14% quit. On the other hand, Tony Shea's kind of being brilliant. There are people that don't want to do it. It's an organizational practice that they have committed to trying. So that's the organizational practice piece. I have no clue what they're doing on the technology side. And that's one I'm kind of hoping to get an insight around soon. But he did understand that there were some people who were going to hold him back. So he said, fine, you know, you can come back later if you want, but here's a package now. We need to get, get a move on with this thing. So my belief is He's pretty plugged in. He's designing a 21st century organization. And thank, thank you to Zappos for sharing their outcomes with, with the rest of us so we can see if it really works.